Hello. Welcome to Be the Unicorn. Today, I'm going to be doing a timeless reading for Earth signs, which are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And as in my first ever tarot reading, I'm going to be using the Essential Tarot, the book, and the cards that, as I've been saying, are human size for those of us with small hands. They're much more manageable. So this is just a reading for what do you need to know? Okay. Wow. So normally I take what comes out, but that came out on the first shuffle. So I'm going to put it back and we'll see if they can, they come out again. Okay. So I'm just going to shuffle. Earth signs need to know. It's a timeless reading. So this one came out first. This is the Eight of Rods. Oh, and we actually got all three cards all at once. <gasps> the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I get excited over the Ten of Cups. <laughs> and then the last card is a Page of Cups. Hmm. So, in the air sign reading, I read a lot from the, the book. For this one, I, I have a little more knowledge of the Eight of Rods. It's often about communication, whether it's a phone call, text message, any form of message. So, you could have some information coming in, and sometimes it has to do with speed. So let's check to see what the book says, Eight of Rods. So I love this little book. The Eight of Rods. These rods fly through the air like javelins. The pace of change is speeding up. Don't be left behind could indicate an unexpected voyage. Now I've never heard anybody say anything about the Eight of rods being about a trip. Normally I've always heard it in reference to messages, news, no matter what form the news is coming in, but it's communication of some sort, rods. So the next card, so maybe you're getting some form of important communication. It could be communication about anything, but because of your second card, the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, look at that. It's a happy family. Look at that. And cups are about emotion, feeling. I mean, the Ten of Cups just doesn't get better than the Ten of Cups. So, let's see what the book says about it. The Ten of Cups. A happy family beholds the rainbow in a scene of great joy. This card signifies fulfillment, happiness, and domestic harmony. Well, this would lead me to believe that the message you get is going to make you very happy. And maybe it is a message of love. Maybe someone is communicating with you, telling you how they feel. And I would say, judging by this card, it's going to be a happy feeling and a good message. Awesome. Doesn't get better than that. We have the Page of Cups. Now, in the, you'll notice the numbers go up. So as I learn more, I'll share more. But this is the page. And actually, the Ten of Cups, I believe the Page of Cups, comes right after. You start with, say... Okay, let me just look before I give you the wrong information. So, Page of Cups. Yes, because first you start with the Ace of Cups and then it goes up from there. So, going from the Ten of Cups to the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is a fish emerges from the cup. See right there? So the page's surprise. 
unexpected news is on the way. With the fish, it's likely to be spiritual. The page is sensitive, thoughtful, helpful, loyal. Wow. So I guess this really does follow suit that maybe the message that you're going to get is going to be out love. And maybe it's not going to be expected. And although it says it's spiritual because of the fish, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be spiritual. And spiritual doesn't necessarily mean religion. It just spiritual. It's something deeper. So I would say earth signs, this is incredible. Expect good news to come in that's going to make you feel extremely happy, very fulfilled, cups full. There's nothing more to say. It's a short story. It's a wonderful story. So all the best. Bye.